Coping skills, what exactly does that mean? It sounds pretty complicated, but actually it's not. If you think about it, coping skills are skills that we use every day of our lives because they involve overcoming our problems. Coping skills involve emotions. Can anyone think of a day that they didn't feel emotions? We all experience different emotions throughout the day. Emotions we experience on any given day go from anger to happiness, from fear to confidence, and on the list goes. So where does coping skills fit in? We use coping skills every day to make it through the bad times we're going through, the stressful times we run into. What we do to cope with these bad times determines how happy our lives become. What we're trying to do with this videotape is to give you some hints that will help you lead a happier life. When you think about it, this life we live in is always putting challenges in front of us, challenges that we must overcome so we can get along in this world. What we're about to do now is give you some examples of some important coping skills that will help make things seem a little bit better in your life. A good place to start would be to try to relax yourself. You've probably noticed when you run into difficult situations that you start to get nervous and you start feeling tense. For example, your palms start sweating, your head starts pounding, your breath gets shorter. We all know how it feels. Once you can identify this stressful experience, you can start to relax yourself right away. Step one, relax yourself. If you could follow along with us, take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths. After your deep breaths, try and breathe slowly in and out for several minutes, starting with your feet and going all the way up to your hair. Try and relax every muscle in your body for at least a second. Really concentrate and think of those muscles relaxing for a second or two. Continue the deep breathing until you feel the tension leave and you feel relaxed. A good place to go next would be with your negative thoughts. Usually when we get upset over things, negative thoughts fill our head. The first thing to do if you feel this is happening is to replace those negative thoughts with positive ideas and try to focus on these ideas. Step two, replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Okay, right now you need to think of something that makes you very happy. If you want, you can write down some of the words that remind you of that thought. When you start having negative thoughts, just remember this happy, positive thought and your attitude will start to change. By the way, smiling can do a lot for you. If you try to smile, even if things are going bad, your face will eventually convince your head that you're really happy. Behi besides, don't think that people who smile a lot seem to be really nice. It's because they are. A smile can go a long way. Well, once you've been able to relax and replace those negative thoughts with positive ones, you're on the road to getting along better with yourself and others. Now you're at a point where this, the next step becomes very important. Getting along with others means that you have to feel good about yourself. Feeling good about yourself involves knowing and developing your strengths, things you're good at. Step number three, know and develop your strengths. If you can, write down some of the things that you like about yourself and things that you think you're good at. By the way, no one should have blank sheets of paper because we're all good at something. Believe me. Well, what did you come up with? Now, when you start doubting what you can do, what you can and can't do, just pull out the sheet and remember the things you're good at. When you're confident in yourself, you can do almost anything. There. Now that you're starting to feel good about yourself, you can start to accept others. It's important to realize that everyone has different abilities. If you can learn to accept these differences, you can start to feel comfortable working with others. Step four, accept others' different abilities. Everyone is important, especially the people you work closely with. Things go better if everyone tries to understand each other and tries to work together. Now, we know that won't happen every time, but if you make an effort to get along with the people around you, you'll have a lot less stress in your life, believe me. The good times will outweigh the bad, that's for sure. Well, you've come a long way in the coping skills line. You're ready for the final step, assertiveness. The next tape we have made covers this area in depth because it is such an important step. Being assertive is probably the most difficult step to accomplish. There are a lot of people who can't be assertive all the time, so don't expect to get this step right away. With time, practice, and patience, you will be able to find times when you can be assertive. Assertiveness is all about being able to tell others what you think and feel. You have to be comfortable with yourself, first of all. Then you must also be comfortable with those around you. Being assertive is important because you can't keep everything you think and need inside your head. We need other people to relate to us, and the only way they have a chance to do that is if we can honestly tell them what we're going through. Just keep in mind these and other steps and keep working on them and assertiveness will come. Well, we've taken a crash course here on coping skills. 
Hopefully you've made it through with us. It was a lot of fun. Let's go over those steps one more time. Step number one, relax yourself. Step number two, replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Step number three, know and develop your strengths. Step number four, accept others' different abilities. And step number five, be assertive. Just remember that developing these skills will help lead to a better attitude and outlook on life. There are a lot of things that will help make your life a better one, but these five tips are some of the more important ones that have worked for others. None of these steps will come naturally. Each will take time to really develop and feel comfortable with. My only advice is to keep trying. If you keep working at it, life is a wonderful experience, and if you don't realize this, then you're missing out on a great thing. Coping skills really help make us realize how truly beautiful life is. Thanks for listening to us here today. Hopefully what we have said will help you through those, those times that, that don't seem so great and turn them into good times. There'll be setbacks along the way. Just keep at it. Take care and have a great day.